Hey guys, Slashway PhD here, and we're back on the Donkey Craft server. I thought I would start this episode with a little something different. I uh, I went to visit. Uh oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy go. I went to visit my buddy RPM up in the Extreme Hills. He's working on a castle there, and uh, coming back through, I had to go through the jungle, and I found this temple are they called abandoned temples or hidden temples not a hundred percent on that but it is pretty damn cool I've never actually seen one in real life so I thought we could explore it together uh, there is a ton of mo uh oh yeah this is his temple I guess got him there's a ton of this wow okay there's a ton of mossy cobble here but I ain't touching that uh oh that sounds bad why is there a uh, clicking? Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I know in like uh, the, the, the desert temples, there's TNT that's hidden. And I'm hoping that there's not any in here. I do hear clicking though. I thought there was like a tripwire or something set up. This clicking is, is worrying me that there's somebody down here. That I'm not going to want to see. What is that? Alright, yeah, here's this guy again. Crap. There's redstone set up too. Is it, I don't know if this is a trap or this is what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, there's tripwire. Let's break that. Alright. There's a chest. What are in these? Nothing's in the dispensers. Interesting. And there's nothing even in the chest. What a drag. Somebody must have been here before. What a bummer. I'll put some rotten flesh in there in case anybody discovers it again. Oh man. I'm going to explore a little bit though. We'll poke around together. These levers over here. I don't know if they're connected to anything. We can see. It's a pretty easy thing to see. Yep, they are. There's another chest here. And that one's empty too. Man, this is a real drag. I will take this chiseled stone though. Dragon took it all. I'm gonna really screw with somebody too. <laughs> Dragon took it all from the stronghold we explored. So there isn't much. Just seeing if there's like a door behind here. There's nothing. Alright. That's still pretty cool. I'm excited that we got to do that together. <laughs> uh, wow. All right. it sounds like it's daytime too. That's good. So I'm gonna head back to my base. There's something I wanted to work on today. And uh, I'll show you guys that and see you in a few minutes. Alright, so I just uh, popped over to spawn real quick. And Cam told me to check out the snow shop. He said take a real close look. Um, so let's see. I can see. Snowman's missing. I don't know. What do we got? Welcome to Cam's Ice Shop, in the Ice Shop, the best, uh, yellow snow. <laughs> That's a good one. Everybody knows yellow snow tastes like, uh, lemonade. Sometimes it tastes like bananas, but most of the time it's lemonade snow. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, well, I don't think anybody bought anything either. No. I wonder if I get to keep that. Do I get to keep that? Let's see. How's a uh, snowball? Look good. Nobody wants snow layers. Let's put a new gold in there. Ba -da -da. Yes, of course. Perfect. I love it. I love glowstone. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, they're not, they don't get along very well. All right, I like that. Best snow, three diamonds. I'll break that. I'll take all that. How do we do this? Double click. Double click. There we go. Boom. That's four stacks. Wow. Fix this. Alright, um, 
probably gonna head back over to my base, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, my base. Um, I did end up dying on my way back from that that temple that we had found. I fell down a ravine and lost, well, nothing really except for those three chiseled blocks. No biggie. Uh, RPM picked up my stuff. I'll grab it from him later on. I wanted to show you guys. This is the roof on the ice house. I think it looks phenomenal. And as a uh, somebody who doesn't consider himself a good builder, as I've said, I think it looks great, and I'm super duper proud of it. There is one issue that I totally overlooked, and this is a problem with my build style, is I just kind of go and don't think. Um, see how there's no ice in there? That is because, let's see if I can make the shots. This is gonna be overshooting. Oh, nice. So, I got the whole roof on, and what happens is, let's see if we can find it. Yep. So, down there, right under these stone bricks, this is the ice tray and it needs to have, uh, it needs to be exposed to the air, but it's not because of these blocks um, on the roof. So I totally overlooked that. That is a uh, kind of a, a minor thing. I think what I'm going to be able to do, I have all this space up here and I, I got to work with it and tweak it a little bit, but I think I'll be able to hook up a couple pistons and have them uh, pull down the block and then pull it back. And I'll set it up, you know, have a redstone tower going. And I'll set it up to a daylight sensor and hide the daylight sensor. Ouch. Hide the daylight sensor in the bush out here. And just have it so it opens up at night. That way it won't look like crap during the day. But, you know, hey, it's always a work in progress. We know that. I'm very proud. I'm very, very proud of the, the style of the roof and how it came out. The attention to detail. There's a couple spots. I got to throw some upside down stairs there, you know, but uh, took me a while. I'm proud of it. Uh, <laughs> kind of a, kind of a bummer that after all that work, it doesn't work and I killed it. But, you know, some simple, a couple simple workarounds and we'll be back in business. Uh, <laughs> what I did want to cut to now was me and Dragon have taken upon ourselves to build a cemetery at Spawn in honor of all the members of the server who have who have left or have uh, just stopped showing up. I guess that would be leaving too if you just don't show up. That's kind of like leaving. So yeah, that's my tower I was standing on. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna cut to that and we'll see you guys on the flip side. The dead of the server are removed for inactivity. And so, yeah, that's basically our graveyard. It. Yeah, we put little signs for everybody. So, everybody that left, we put their name or what they were known and as. And how they died. Yeah. How we how they assumed died. Uh, they died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we try to take little uh, inside jokes and write them on the signs. <laughs> so, some people's are a little more personal than others. Some people, like uh, Captain Kelp here, no one ever saw him, ever, because he logged in once <laughs> and then never again. <laughs> that was it. But he logged in. The first time he logged in, he was on for like three hours with everybody. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, Mark was probably the most active server, not active server, active member of the server that left us. Yeah. Um, she had to take some time off for personal reasons. And What about? Uh, so her sign's not funny. It's just serious. <laughs> what about Red? Red was pretty active, I hear. Yeah, Red was pretty active too on the last server. I'm kind of behind the tree. On the last server, he uh, he actually built our Ender Ender with Dash here, but uh, Dash Dash was known for rage quitting, and one day he rage quit and never came <laughs> back. He <laughs> just never came back, and then he, yep. So we're we're gonna just keep it to saying <laughs> nice things. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. uh, man, it's a sad it's a sad thing, but you know what, Dragon? What? Where are you? Look at me in the eye. I'm glad we didn't have to ban anybody. And we didn't have to worry about any griefers. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah we didn't have to ban anybody. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, we'll uh, leave it at that. <laughs> yep. But <laughs> nobody griefed anything. Everybody was peaceful. And if they left, they left uh, They left kindly. With honor and dignity. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, with, <laughs> they left kindly. Um, <laughs> yeah, this ain't bad. I'm pretty proud of what yeah. we did for two guys that probably can't build very well. <laughs> Uh, no offense, self-admitted facts. 
<laughs> not, uh, mm. not bad. Got some cobwebs. Yeah. Some vines. Would yeah. you like to add anything? Any artistic uh, insight? Uh, I like the gravel here. Oh yeah, Four the gravel's gravel. nice. <laughs> that is, well, we didn't want we didn't want to get carried away with the gravel. But yeah, um, I think that's important. Hopefully, we don't have to fill this place up and expand it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, ten is it. And uh, if there's anybody that for some reason is watching these videos that we used to play with that we have forgotten, sorry, I'm sorry, I apologize. Just shoot Dragon a message, and he'll build you a new grave. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. All. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, see you next episode. All right. So I think that went pretty good. <laughs> we got uh, about ten graves set up there for for past members of the Donkey Craft server. Hopefully, we don't have to add any more. That was the first time I've ever recorded with somebody else, so that was pretty cool. A very interesting experience, and hopefully, a sign of more good things to come. Dragon is very active on the Donkey Craft server, and thankfully he has decided to start recording, so I'm, I'm wicked amped for that. Wicked. Um, I'm going to get back to work down here, and look at, just fall on you with my eyes. <laughs> I'm going to get back to work down here, half slab on the floor of the ice tray. How can we see up there? Do we have to do this? Yep, there we go. Bingo. Half slab on the floor of the bottom of the ice tray, and uh, next time we can uh, tackle that roof. That roof issue, look at that. Sexy eyes. <laughs> we'll tackle the roof next time. Thank you for stopping in, and uh, have a great day, guys.